for Jim. Hey, good evening, everybody. How are you? It is good to see you, and it is good to be seen by you. I am Bill Silvey, a.k.a. The Dungeon Delver. Welcome to the show, everyone. It is Tuesday evening. It is February 19th, 2024, and I hope everyone is having an absolutely wonderful evening. And folks, if you're new here and you haven't already, please do click that subscribe button, click the bell icon for notifications if you're so inclined. And if you like this video and you're watching it, whether you're watching it live now or you're you're catching it at some point later, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment below and tell us what you like about it. This live stream is brought to you by our friends at Hellabard Games. Hellabard makes the kind of adventures they'd like to play, whether it's for Castles and Crusades, for 5th edition D&D, or for the OSR. Old School is in play at the table with Hellabard, and you can find them at drive through RPG or on their website, hellabardgames.com. They are linked in the description below. So, welcome, welcome, everyone. Um, I'm... I'm good to see you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to see you guys. I'm good to see you guys, but I, I'm I'm good myself. Um, we had uh, a heck of an anniversary last night uh, that was tinged with sadness because we found out that uh, gaming legend James M. Ward had passed away uh, just on the eve of Gary Con. Um, I received some messages from friends who were signed up to to game with Jim at Gary Con and they, they, they just feel kind of lost. Um, so I, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I, I feel like in the face of such a thing, we can't do anything more than do what Jim would have wanted us to do. And that is to keep rolling the dice. Um, I have the great fortune of being able to interview Jim, uh, not once or twice, but four times for this uh, program. Jim was one of the earliest guests who ever appeared on the Delver's Dungeon when I was live streaming over on Facebook in the middle of the day. Jim was kind enough to agree to an interview, and the I think it's actually chronologically second interview that I did with Jim. Uh, and the fourth interview that I did with Jim here when it was on uh, YouTube are available on my channel. Uh, tonight, after this live stream, I'm going to upload the other two interviews. So if you didn't get to meet Jim, if you didn't get to talk to Jim, um, I avail you <laughs> just just bear up through all the technical issues and wonky audio and everything else and please do watch those those um uh interviews i did with jim Let, just listen to jim you i won't be offended if you just mute my voice every time i come on jim is what you should be there for so i really really hope that you will check those out and i will let you, the community, everyone know when I have the other two videos I've played loaded. They're not lost. I'm not struggling to recover them. They are sitting on the, the PC desktop of my editing rig over there. I just need to get around to doing it. And today has been exceptionally, exceptionally busy. So um, we have... Uh, we, we have a, a lot of fun in store 
tonight, of course, here in a few minutes, we're going to be playing first edition advanced Dungeons and Dragons, just waiting on uh, one more of our players to join. Um, we have uh, we have some great stuff tomorrow night. Kyle will be in the house. We are uh, looking at starting a D&D game under his auspice, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Thursday night, and I saw some of you guys out in the chat talking about this, but Thursday night, Jack Photon is going to be joining us, and he's going to talk about projects that he's got going now for AD&D. And then Friday night, we're really going to celebrate Jim in the best possible way that I can think of. We're going to play some Gamma World, and to my Gamma World players, look out for the mutations. What can I tell you? It's what Jim would have wanted. Um, so. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking, I don't know if we did or not, Michael Dale. I honestly don't know. Uh, so we, uh, we've got a lot of fun planned and speaking of fun, that's not all the fun doesn't stop just because the week does. Uh, we have got, uh, the nerd council of doom returns on this channel. That's right. It will be myself dungeon minister and Yang and Zhao talking about important pop culture ephemera that drive us all. So I'm look, I, I hope you'll join us that that is Saturday afternoon and uh, we'll all be hanging out and you guys can stop by and say hi and listen to us pontificate. So uh, we're, we're all going to have a lot of fun. Hello, Kabuki. Good to see you. Um, but, uh, to uh to continue on with fun stuff also guys i have my first game in the game grid for the guac that's right i have got a how to play first edition advanced dungeons and dragons session scheduled now if you've never played first edition ad and i want you to maybe consider checking that out so um please please do consider stopping by Grimlore is in the chat talking about his youtube channel um you just noticed the dungeon master screen well that's 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 vital man this isn't just a prop that's vital that's got charts and stuff on it that's why we don't need thaka o so anyway um everyone uh Please uh, do consider that. Do consider signing up for the Great Underground Online Gaming Convention. Uh, it's over on Warhorn. I will share up the link here for just a moment. Um, like I said, we're waiting on one more of our players to join us, and then we're going to get going. We're shy a couple of players tonight, um, but hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to get. Um, to get that last player in here and get going. And if not, well, we'll just go. Uh, that DM screen is a piece of history in our, it is, it is. John Stewart Keller, get out, you're banned. <laughs> um, let's see now. And we have lots and lots and lots of uh, uh, we have lots of stuff in the schedule. Um, I'm actually going to be playing. I'm not going to be run. Well, I am going to be running stuff, but there will be a session when I am not running stuff. When I am playing, I'm going to play in Wheeling Dragons uh, Labyrinth. RPG. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to be doing a demo of Dungeon. So if I can get a couple of people that want to play Dungeon with me, we're going to, we're going to do that. Um, we're going, uh, I'm, likewise, I'm going to do a demo of Space Hulk and I'm going to do a demo of Hero Quest. And I just need to find time and space that out. So, ah, speak of the devil and she'll soon appear. Hello, Wheeling Dragon. So, So let's see.
So we're going to roll on with the players we have here in just a couple more minutes. I just want to get everything set up. Let's see now. But I hope you all are having an absolutely wonderful evening this evening. And let me just catch up with the comments real quick here. Well, we'll see what we've got, what slots we've got open, Vaughn. All right. Well, it looks like we are going to be a little light on players tonight, but that's okay. That's okay. We we move on. We go forward. So everyone, please welcome our three players that we do have tonight. Folks, put your hands together and then take them apart once you realize that nobody can hear us applaud. And say hey to Doomsword Deathmaster as Vrug the Fighter. Greetings to my fellow Floridian uh, over there. Uh, Tim Imholt is Tarth Nose Rage. And boy, those are just words you never think you'll have to put together. And yet here we are. Tim, welcome. Somebody had to put them together. Someone had to put them together and you did it so well. And a man for whom if uh, wasn't playing Sir Standard, we wouldn't have any standards at all. Everybody welcome your favorite uh, fighter, Magic user, Sir Standard, played by Thane Kyle. Good to see Hello. you, my friend. Hello. All right, so uh, here's how we're going to roll. I'm going to NPC, uh, because it was asked of me to NPC the Thaif. The, the Thaif. <laughs> the thief. A bit of Welsh in that. <laughs> the Thief uh, and the Cleric to do some uh, lock picking, tra trap detecting, and healing. Now... As we left off last week, you had fought two of the horrible upright weevil men. They were chaotic weevil who fought you at a uh, flight of stairs leading down into the dungeons beneath the ruined temple in the, the city of, of uh, Highport. Yep. As you have crossed swords with slavers. So the carcasses of these two giant bug men uh, lie at your feet on the stairs. Tarth Nose Rage has taken grievous injury. Uh, Vrug, you have taken a few uh, hits yourself. Sir Standard was fighting from second rank with Spear, as I believe. Yep. Um, so right now, as we have finished the round, um, Mobius's character, Sir, not appearing in this adventure. <laughs> I did not know that. That's unfortunate. Oh, uh, that's okay. We we go, you know, we we go with what we have. Sometimes you got to have guys on the injured reserve, and you you, you got to bring up the NPCs to play. So all you got to do is heal me. Uh, all right. So that's all I need to. two uh, cure light wound spells are going out real quick here, and let's make sure uh, we should have good dice tray tonight, uh, players. So let's see. This is for Vrug. And that is five points of healing back for Vrug. And that is five points of healing back for Tarth Nose Rage. Um, and uh, Duran says, I have but one healing spell remaining. Uh, and after, after that, it is, it is other spells that I can use, but uh, that is all of the healing that I can do currently. How you doing, Tarth? You feel Pretty like much. delving deeper? I think we got see go. what metal you have. I think we Leave. Go. Let's, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Okay. I like that. That's all we can so. do. Yeah. Next next week, uh, Kevin Mobius and and Mark are going to be like a total party. What? <laughs> yep. A runaway. A total party runaway. Total party runaway. Exactly. Okay. So you guys are heading further down the stairs from, or, uh, well, wait. Let me check the map. Is there further down the stairs? Um, That's one thing without Mark. We don't, we don't have a map. So 
Well, um, I dictated that the player, per Mark's request, that the thief was going to, at the very least, do his thiefly duties. So um, he will continue on into the uh, platform, the control room area. So he scouts ahead, moving as silently as he can. But is it silent enough? He tiptoes down the stairs, around a corner, and you do not hear anything while he searches in the, in the uh, slave areas. He comes back up and says, There are but a few weak-looking slaves that have been moved into the cages, but nothing else in the room. No insect men. Okay. Right, what does this room look like? Do we go uh, for it? The room, the room that you're in currently is where you had first encountered an uh, aspis. Uh, there are various levers on the wall um, that, from your last encounter, you seem to recall may have been able to work the cages of the slave pit areas. Yes. And um, now, but here comes the question. Do we take these slaves back with us or do we push on and take them on the way back? I say we push on and take them on the way back. We take them on the way back. Look them over, bandage them up as necessary. If we've got some rations, toss them those unless the priest can make them some food. Nah, don't waste the spell. Um, yeah, let's get in there and do it. They've been here long enough. They stink. Okay. All right. So the priest can tend to them while we... Uh, while we scout ahead. What were the uh, exits for this room? Okay. So the chamber is about 40 feet east to west. You are in the uh, northeast corner of the room as you come in. Uh, it looks to be about 50 feet long north-south. There are the cages, two rows of cages that go down the middle of the room. And then there is a staircase in the southeast corner of the room, you can see stairs going down that way. Um, also on the east wall, there are a pair of doors. All right, let's check out those doors. Halfling. Uh, yes, yes, of course, my friends, of course. I will, I will scout ahead. All right, so he moves ahead, uh, and I saw that reference to Mystery Men. I love it. How many lever flips, not counting any erroneous ones that you may have called for in a moment of panic, were there? Um, 27. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right so... He will go, and he will listen at the doors. There are places unknown, and there are places known. And in between, there are these doors he's listening at. All right. He presses his ear. Looks back. Moves down to the next door. Listens at it. Looks back. Okay, so those are two side-by-side -side doors? I thought they were like a double door or something. No, they're they're separated by about ten feet along the walls. So. Okay. Well, what do you want to do? I think we should force that first. Should open that first door and see what's in there. All right, you guys cover me. I'll slam it open. Sure. Okay. I guess they'll arrange behind me in a sensible manner. I'll be right. I'll be second stack. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me an open doors roll if you would for Vrug there, dudes. Easily done. You force the door open, um, and the uh, go Vrug. I'm sorry. I said go Vrug. He did it on the first try. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Make bet on that door opening. Uh, all right, so you force the door. Um, 
This is a neatly ordered storeroom. There's tables and shelves uh, piled with clothing, dried ration, manacles, whips, ropes, branding irons, and uh, there are tons, T-U-N-S, uh, also stacked on racks that contain some kind of liquid. You're not sure. Um, and these are in good order. It doesn't look like... Uh, like uh, insects or rats of any kind have gotten to these. Excellent. Any exit? Uh, no, just the door you came in at a glance. Any secret doors? All right, so you're going to spend uh, spend a turn checking for secret doors. You do not find any, and more importantly... Nothing comes and finds you while you're taking that time. Well, yeah, as an elf, I should be able to find them pretty much automatically, so. Oh, uh, no, it's still a die roll required. Hmm. You, you have a better chance of finding concealed doors and secret doors, and you have a better chance of finding secret doors than commoners, but you still have to search for them. The, uh, the secret door location with just passing by uh, is a chance that elves get. It's not automatic, but humans don't get that chance. Humans have to actively yep. search, and then it's only one in six. So um, there is another door, uh, not in this room, but if you go back out and go south along the east wall, there's another door on the left. Yes, Vaughn, a, an elf needs to announce that they are searching for secret doors to get that high percentage chance of locating it. Um, I'd like to go out and right. force the second door. Yeah, right. yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. If if you want to try the door, you're more than welcome, I'll, and I'll take second. I'll try. I'll try right. the door. That's a beast. All right, I'm ready to jump in there as soon as uh, as soon as something <laughs> grabs him. <laughs> Somebody roll for me. I don't have the link for that today. So. Oh well, here I'll put that in the uh, in the green room. But uh, yeah, if somebody wants to roll for uh, for Tarth there while I'm doing this. Not me. I got it. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's have a look, shall we? Eh. I have a white screen. Uh oh. Somebody else do it. Okay. Looks like it's that, back already. The website just white screened for me. Oh, dear. Uh, do a hard refresh there on your die roll. Uh, Control F5 or something. Yeah. Let's see. All right. On your shot on the door, you're able to. There we, there we go. go. Uh, okay, you're able no. to, uh, to force the door open, and it is much like the previous chamber, just larger quantities of stuff, uh, you know, folded tunics and togas, that sort of thing, uh, manacles, chains, branding irons, all that sort of stuff, and uh, foodstuffs, various foodstuffs. So this uh, food, I mean, I'm assuming, right, the elf's going to do the same thing, look for secret doors. We don't see another exit. I mean, I assume that's what's going on. I was, I was going to ask about the food stuff. Uh, you know, it's uh, hardtack, uh, dried sausages, um, uh, hard cheese, that sort of right, thing. Right, but basically... Go ahead. I apologize. No, not that different from uh, from you know iron rations that you would that you would uh, carry into a dungeon with you. To be honest, uh, right. Okay. So this is like basically a well stocked, uh, maintained bunker, in a way. You know, I mean, yeah. I knew we had fresh slaver activity, but they take care of themselves, and we're definitely finding a way to take a bunch of that food. Well, we can always load the slaves up. Yeah, we could do that. Um, so there's a staircase down, right? So we got the the other room that the um, that these rooms came off of, and then we got a staircase down. Uh, that is, uh, and we have our first question of the night from uh, Venger. Asked, do repeated failed door attempts increase the chances for random encounters? I mean, uh, if you know your way around statistics, you'll know that you know the longer you you do something, the more the the chance of it can increase. Um, depending on the circumstances, but it is, it is incumbent on, on the conditions here. Yeah. 
Um, but fortunately, it did not roll up. So I'm sorry, Tim. I think we should dive deeper. Put the two fighters in the front and go deeper. Agreed. That's the to only the thing we with this place. Yeah, that's the only thing we can do. Okay. Yeah, except leaving. So who's the two fighters? I'm one. You're the other one. I'm the other. All right. Um, now, uh, remind me, do you guys have John the fighter with you, or did he stay back? We, we do. That, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is remember, we do have John as well, so he can form a third, because you can march three abreast. So. That's correct. Right, if it's like a 10-foot staircase and we don't encounter anything on it, I suspect it's shorter than that, but when, or narrower. It but is, when we get down, right, we can spread out. It is It is narrower. Um, and I need to, let's see, cleric. Um, do you want to take point tight? I'm happy to. So I'll be right sure behind you. Okay, so rounding the corner, the staircase is about what you would find in a residential home, so it's only about three feet wide. Um, it goes down, as staircases do. Wait a minute, the staircase only goes up. Uh, it goes down about let's see the the map is cut in a very very unfortunate way here uh it actually goes down about 20 feet uh before the three foot area widens out uh enough where you can all stand uh there the um the progression seems to be due east and then it turns slightly southeast. Immediately, it turns northeast. It, it forms like a one-way fork and moves to the northeast. Um, and the northeastern passage is also very narrow and will be one person only proceeding there. Or perhaps two gnomes, if you guys happen to have those. Well, I don't That's... feel like cutting Vaughn in half, so I think I should continue to go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. As the second rank of the party passes, um, Sir Standard, you notice that along the wall, there is, in fact, a secret door that opens Excellent. to the southeast. Uh, I'll stop the party and call Grimsby over, see if he can detect any traps, and um, more importantly, see if he hears anything. I have no okay. problem making us back up. Grimsby says, no, I do not think it is trapped, my friends. I do not hear anything beyond, though. Okay. Well, um, would, you, would one of you strapping gentlemen like to do so, or do you want me to? I'd be I'd pop it open it. either way. Go for it. All right. Give me a D6 roll to find that catch and open that door. Folks, if you haven't already, please do click the like button. If you like what we're doing here, a little thumbs up would uh, would never hurt. Yeah, you're, you're feeling around and, you, you know, you're, you trust the elves' instincts, but you cannot find a catch. Uh, but you can keep searching. May as well. Uh, go ahead and roll it there, uh, Brug. Oh, you want me to do it? Yes. All right. Yeah, I rolled a five. You rolled a five. Okay, yeah, you're you're. Groping along the the brickwork there, uh, you just oh God. You, you 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 can't you can't quite find it. Here, let me try. It's a D six to open the secret door, right? Same as any door. Uh, yes. There we go. That's how it's done, gentlemen. Um, yeah. and I only had you know, a one. Sometimes it takes the wisdom of the wood creatures. Indeed. <laughs> I'll push the door we open. usually just eat them. As you push the door open, 
from the northeast you hear the sound of of uh tramping feet coming towards you grimsby is looking up that way and he is not surprised and calls out i think it's orcs quickly everybody file in <laughs> perfect yeah, all right file in this will be fun okay uh so grimsby and uh uh Duran and of course um i'm drawing a, a kevin's magic user uh, sir uh, uh yeah uh uh they quickly make their way through the door leaving the rest of you as rear guard as they're moving are you guys going to fight them off or move through the door i plan on moving through the door but um oh yeah okay can we all make it through before they arrive do we think um, they were some distance away, so okay. it is, it is certainly possible. Let, let me look there. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Grimsby, uh, heard them at a, at a great distance. Excellent. Yeah. Move them in. Right. Just in case let's roll initiative. It could, it could get dicey here. So we'll start. Uh, roll initiative for the party, if you would, please. Um, Doom Sword. Yes, we'll start with Doom Sword. And were the corridors here five feet or ten feet? Where you are is very narrow. It's like three to four feet here. Okay. Um, so, yes, you guys just have a uh, jump on. Um, I have a comment here. This is from Dan Rowan. Love the old school DM screen. Looks to be in five. Yep, it is a nice one. It is. I. Uh, someone who is very, very thoughtful and a friend of the show donated this. Um, I actually found one, one of the newer ones with a Jeff Easley artwork on it in mint condition at a at a, uh, a local used game store, but it has gotten very beaten up over the years. I got Jeff's autograph on it at GaryCon 2018, and then I put it away. <laughs> it's not one that I want to haul around all the time, you know? All right, so uh, you all file through the door, and whoever is in last can shut that door. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you are standing in a much, much larger area. There is an open sewer running from the northeast. You are standing on the ledge, uh, the service ledge of the sewer. Um, to your immediate right, it turns due south. The... Uh, the um tunnel for lack of a better term turns due south and runs that way some distance let me see there is a number there so i will tell you guys what that is all about let's see all righty Okay, the sewer passage ends in a tumble of ruin, completely choking the passageway. Part of the collapsed tunnel forms a ledge extending into the water. Little current moves through here, and the water is stagnant and slimy. An old ton rests upside down at the end of the ledge. There is a drip of water on it, and when it drips, the echo resounds through the tunnel you're in. Drip, drip, drip. Okay. And what do you wish to do? I'd like to examine that. Yeah. Uh, to look very closely at it. Okay. Uh, are you picking it up, moving it, doing what? I'd like to pick it up and move it. Okay. Tonk, tonk. just dripping in the water uh it is literally just uh a barrel a hollow a hollow barrel we still hear um you don't hear the uh you don't hear the the water dripping on it anymore the water's flipping in the water underneath it right right but do we okay so it was just the echo of the thing that we mistook for boot steps no no you you did hear boot steps in the in the room on the other side of the secret door but uh uh here you don't hear anything 
Uh, right, and they're not approaching. I got you. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, what's the water look like? I mean, Scum. nasty sewage water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not like, hey, look, turds floating by or anything like that. But yeah, it's 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 pretty pretty foul. There is something about this room. Why would it be hidden? I think uh, Duran. Sorry. No, go uh, ahead. Doesn't uh, somebody has a cure light wound stone or something, don't they? Or were we just talking about that? Not a cure light wounds, but a continual light. Sorry, my boys are going nuts. <laughs> uh, a continual light. Let's see. Uh, I gotta, you know. That's all first. So, um, I do have some torches in a tinderbox if that helps. Well, I'm wondering if we could drop something down there. I ain't sticking my head in and open my eyes. Okay. Um, I don't have Tom Stoll's uh, magic spells in front of me. Um, like that's a third level cleric spell. Uh, yeah. So, um, Duran will cast Continual Light. Um, so, does anyone have a staff or something they want this cast on? So then the sinks. I'll, I'll give him a coin. Yeah, that right. works just fine. But yeah, you're uh, right. Actually, I'm really out of coins. Rock. Yeah, you're right. We should <laughs> have a rock with, with, with daylight on it. I'll give him a copper. I thought we did. Okay. Um. So, yeah, he says a prayer, passes his hands over it, and it is as bright as daylight emanating from Duran's hands. It is, it is brighter than it has probably ever been in here. And he says, so you just want me to put it in the water there? Absolutely. All right. He tosses the coin in, and although the water is very murky, uh, it's only a foot or two deep, and the, the, the green is, is illuminated very brightly now. But there is no, um, there is nothing under where the barrel was. Hmm. How high uh, up is the ceiling in this room? I mean, we haven't really looked up, so I figured I'd go ahead and observe. Uh, the sewer tunnel is about 10, 12 feet up, maybe. Where was that water okay. coming from? Uh, just a, a crack above you. Uh, just, you know, just just a seam. So this is basically like some sort of end water containment area or whatever, water diversion flow or something. I mean, it's just it just branches off and just ends in this little chamber, like some kind of cistern or something of, uh, of crap. Honestly. Anyway. Well, go ahead, sir. Is there any way to move that debris uh, out of the way? Uh, so looking at this, the debris is uh, it's to the northeast, and it is many long tons of collapse. So over time, you could that that's about thirty feet away to the uh, to the to the northeast is where that that fall is. You guys are right where the sewer tunnel starts its turn to the south. Um, Let's look to see if there's any other hidden doors. Yeah, honestly, this 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 barrel here to me just seems like they had it. They had a leak in the ceiling before. They used this room before. Uh, they had the collapse. It's now derelict, and um, they may or may not have even known about the secret door previously. Um. So yeah, let's see if there there are any other secret doors around here. I'll do a dedicated search along with Grimsby. Okay. Yeah. So along a, uh, about 10, 20 feet along each wall. Um, neither you nor Grimsby finds anything. And in the turn that you search, uh-oh. 
Well, good news is if something comes along, we can um, lean against the door and all be quiet. However, this is coming up south, up the up the sewer walkway towards you. So, oh, that was open. Okay, now I understand the layout of the room. Okay, well, this is not a room. This is a tunnel. You guys are in. Just, I, I, I think there, there's some. Uh, I thought it was a room that was like a room in the middle of like a T intersection kind of thing. Uh, no, it's just kind of a section of the passage you're in. I'm sorry ah, for, the, okay. for the lack what's of clarity. Coming, what's coming up the pathway? Uh, coming up the pathway, the tramp of many boots. Um, some are walking in the water. Some are walking up on the uh, up on the ledge. But it is a group of orcs. They are. Uh, let's see. They are about uh, 40 feet away when you hear them. They are, let's see, you guys are not surprised. They are. They just kind of stop as they round the way when they see you some distance away. Um, they, are, they are totally surprised. There's a half dozen of them. You have total surprise. So what will you be doing? Okay, so the size of the space we're in is the same as the size of the corridor. Sands a little bit of extra space from where the collapse had happened. Is that correct? I I I, th I think we're uh, we're we're um, experiencing a little bit of uh, confusion here. So you are in a sewer tunnel, right? It's, okay, it's about twenty five feet wide. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. goes to the northeast about thirty feet. And heads due south from where you are, uh, at least sixty feet, because you know you have illumination. Um, the door that you entered into this sewer tunnel from is the secret door back from when you came downstairs and investigated a short hallway. So yeah, yeah. Right out and, and which of those directions did we did we come through? The, did we come from the northeast direction through the secret door, or from the south? You came from the northwest through the secret door. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And uh, yeah. that collapse collapsed off a separate section of tunnel? Uh, the collapse is to the northeast, 30 no. feet. Okay. The tunnel goes no. 30 feet east, and then there's the collapse. <clears throat> okay. okay. No. Great. Now, so if we're if just at a tunnel junction, basically, that's about 25 feet wide. Those guys are across from us in the same width of tunnel junction or tunnel in their case. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're they're coming up from the south, but they're on the same side as you guys are. Yes. So it may as well be a twenty-five by a thousand room, right? Effectively. I'm charging. Yeah. Effectively. Um, yeah, I could sleep these guys, but there's no point. So I'll charge in after. Okay, so um, Vrug is charging. Uh, Sir Standard is charging. Tarth, how about you? Charging. Okay, so now we get to segments of surprise, you guys. Uh, they rolled a one. You guys rolled a five. So that's four segments of surprise. Nominally, you guys can move 90 feet. Uh, you double that for charge, but that's over the course of a full round. This is segments, which is divided by 10. So that's nine. That's 36 I said they were 40 feet away, so you can just get into striking distance of them. So let's see some attack rolls. And a charge is giving you a plus two to hit. We'll start with Vroom. Yep. All right. And this is your well, last seems... surprise. So. Right, gotcha. That that's going to be a uh, 19, right? That, oh, that, yeah, that's a, that's a big hit. You guys are hand soloing on the Death Star against these guys. Ten points. Uh, you slay the orc. Uh, Tim, let's see how Darth Nose Rage does. So you're going to do uh, plus two because of your charge. Eight, nine, ten, and you get a plus one or plus, plus two? One. Plus, plus one. one is eleven. Let's check their armor class. Your fighter four, they are... Uh, 
uh, that will miss. He has the presence of mind to to jerk back before your sword blow lands. Uh, Sir Standard, please, if you would. Okay, just uh, who's rolling for John? Uh, I will roll for John. All right, I'll have him roll too. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, John. Uh, John uh, will will hopefully. Uh, I'm busy Bookend sliding guys. across the floor. Yeah. Like I don't want to step in. I don't want to step in so much. I don't want to step in so much. I don't want to step in so much. Oh, Pretty much, man. yeah. Okay. Uh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say to, to be to be fair, this isn't sir. This isn't sir average, right? He doesn't have my elf doesn't have a deep hatred of sewers. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, someone in the chat helpfully suggested I throw water spiders at you guys, but <laughs> who are they? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's that's between you guys and uh, uh, Sir Standard. Um, that was a, a TPK in the last uh, in the in the last uh, campaign that I ran for this group uh, at the at the the pedipalps of uh, of uh, water spiders. But here we go. Uh, You've slain one of the orcs out of hand. There are still five of them. There's four of you. Uh, they look around, and let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, they are immediately enraged, so I'm guessing Vrug is going to attack again. Absolutely. Uh, Tarth and Sir Standard as well? Yep. Absolutely. All right, and uh, John is giving no quarter. Die, you filthy pig men! No offense, Mendefrug. Um, yeah, possibly smell right. worse when they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll initiative. And uh, Tim, do you, do you do you have contact with the die roller? Uh, gonna need a d6 there, buddy, for for AD and D. Aha. And perhaps still working on that, uh, the 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 uh, force of your charge. The party still has the initiative. Dooms, do that. Thing. We have them routed. I chopped the guy next to me. Hopefully, uh, right through the collarbone, the clavicle, separating uh, his head and the rest from his body. All right. With a that nineteen, didn't do it. That'll help. I forgot to apply plus five on this one. It's uh, six points total. Uh, six points total. Well, you can end him in a delightful fashion. Tim! You have a plus Good five of damage. Good for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's like me last round. <coughs> Whatever it is, it's contagious. You caught it from Sir Standard. But Sir Standard, let's see if you can follow up. Uh, uh, ten total? <laughs> That's that's gonna be like yeah that's gonna be like AC eight maybe. Yeah, John will uh, not hit either. Not hit okay. either. Uh, all right, so there I'm are sure four. Not the mathematical improbability here, but we'll let that part go. So uh, let's start with an orc striking Vrug. I watched one of my players uh, roll five twenties in a row once. So tell me tell me about mathematical probability some other time. Uh, during our Christmas game this past Christmas, I had a uh, I had a, an ice devil cast ice storm on the party. Three to thirty points of damage. There is no saving throw. Cast ice storm. That's three d ten, and I rolled three ones. That was literally <laughs> just a light flurry. You you take more frost damage digging around in your ice bucket in your refrigerator, folks. I got to tell you, as a dungeon master, it was humiliating. Uh, all right, so that was a sixteen, Vrug. You're like armor class minus ten or something like that. So that's not gonna hit you. Negative either. one. Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Might as well have been for all the for all I could have gotten done there. Okay, so this attack is on Tarth. Armor class four. Armor class four. That's a miss. This attack is on Sir Standard. That is a miss, and this is against John. I that think is he is also a C4. All yeah. right. Largely irrelevant as they are still up. There's uh four of them still, and four of you guys. Uh initiative time, and I think we are to face time roll for Sir Standard. Absolutely. Come on. Nope. 
then. So two. Bill, roll a one. Roll a one. I, I'll, I'll do my worst to do my best. <laughs> is it a tie? It is a tie. It is swords versus swords. So all this action is happening simultaneously, with the exception of Sir Standard. Are you fighting with sword or spear here? No, I'm fighting with spear. Okay, all right. So you will go last. So I will go ahead and roll the uh, the next orc attack on you. Uh, 17 uh, in your armor class. Mine? Yours, yeah. Negative two. Ne oh, well, that's that's good, but you get your shield up, or you, you roll with it, and um, you manage to not do any damage, not have any damage done to you, rather. All right, uh, so this is on Vroog. That's a miss. This is on Tarth. Oh, shit. <laughs> some days you get the bear, and some day the bear gets you. So how about a handy one point of damage? Oh, okay. All right. That's not bad. Don't get any sewer water in that. Uh, and this one is against Sir... Uh, oh, we already rolled against Sir Standard. John is struck. And John takes five points of damage. Ah, you fiend! Oh. Take the pain! Ah. Rub right. your dirt on it. <laughs> Not down here, my friend. Perhaps clean soil from up above. All right, counterattacks, gentlemen, and remember these are all simultaneous. So, strike hard. We've got them on their heels. A six. Uh, twenty. Get him on his heels. Roll some damage. That'd be thirteen. There are now three orcs left in the hallway. Tim, show them how it's done. Bring the pain, Texas style. Dump some hot sauce on him. There you go. That is a oh, solid wow. hit. Give us a D8 roll for damage. That is seven. That is a dead orc. There are two of them left. All right. Let's have a look. Uh, ah. well, that's without the plus five. So, so that is a... Or sorry, that's without the plus three. So that would be still that would still only be ten. So yeah, no. Oh, that's it. All yeah, right, John. Yeah. Plus five. I jump. All right. So John, the NPC. Plus five because I, I thought it was charging, but yeah, I'm not. Uh, well, you did. Uh, so John yep. will miss. There's two of them left. Uh, they realize that the numbers are not against them, so it's going to take a pretty heroic. Yeah, no, they are turning and flee in the next round. Um, let's roll initiative. Uh, and that is back to Vrug, I think, for initiative. They are going to attempt Oof. to uh, They have initiative first, four segments. They are going to move, uh, let's see, nine times four is 36. They basically move uh, close to 40 feet away from you in their running away. However... You guys can pursue them if you want to. You can see them running down away from you. Uh, there he is. We need to charge them. We uh, can't. You have, you have already charged, uh, and basically you can only charge once every um, turn. You I yelled at Marius to do something. Uh, Vroog, I think you forget something. What's that? I'm casting sleep. Uh, yeah, you've got spells too. Anybody. <laughs> All right. So you're going to cast Marius. You're going to cast sleep. Uh, Marius is like, put those away with a big spell on his hip. Okay. Uh, and a brownie on his shoulder. That's right. Uh, I'm about to leave one on his shoulder. He don't do some more stuff. A brownie <laughs> submachine gun. Uh, all right. <laughs> so Vru, you're going to let the spell go. Uh, Tim, how about Tart? Yeah. You, uh, you're going to wait to see what the spell does? Wait to see what the spell does. I'm not getting in the way of that thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, let's see that uh, let's see that sleep roll. Sure. And this is 2d4? Is that right? Uh, that is correct. 2d4. For these guys? I figured. Yeah. A minimum is going to knock them down. So, yeah. Eight. <laughs> there they are. Yeah. Boom, boom. And you know what? Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a D ten here and a one through five splash. Splash. Both of them fall face down 
into the sewer and are just are just kind of drifting. Um, no, that was not splashes and calling in artillery. Um, we'll play Twilight 2000 someday, guys, and then we can get all the military geek lo- lingo in the game. Um, but yeah, they they both keel off the uh, the walkway in the sewer and slump into the water. Um, they can drown or you guys can kill them. It's entirely up to you. Well, we got the guys here to search, right? Which I assume Grimsby's already doing. Or somebody. Okay. Those guys... Are- I don't give a damn about them. They can sink to the bottom or you can have their coppers. Okay. Uh, A common question that comes up around here is what are the classes and levels that are being played? Uh, We're about fourth level. We have... I put mine in my label. Sorry. Uh, Nice. Uh, We have uh, Lawful Neutral neutral Fighter 4 being played by Brug. A Tim uh, being played by Tarth Rose Rage. Uh, (laughs) Uh... uh, fourth level fighter. Fourth level fighter. Um, Thane Kyle, D and D disability, is playing Sir Standard and Elven Fighter Magic. Is your year th- two two or three two? <laughs> cute, 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 cute. Uh, I'm four two. Four two. Okay. Uh, and we have some folks who could not make it tonight. We have a fifth level cleric. We have a fifth level thief. And we have a fourth level magic user, but they are hanging back right now. Their players couldn't make it. So the request was made of me that I move them in. And that is something that I do as DM. I'm not one of those DMs that are like, your character disappears. Yeah, I know you're 300 feet underground behind a dozen locked doors, but they're just not here. They just run out of the dungeon by themselves. Um, and the players asked me to treat them with some utility. Now a total party kill could still happen but um but yeah. anyway um uh, we made short work of them yes so the orcs you are searching their bodies well let's see there's something i like i like to call exploding wandering monsters where after a fight maybe something came looking to see what the hell made all that noise <laughs> with exploding dice you're a hell of a fighter Toth. thank you for a man. <laughs> All right. Um, so the orcs, a uh, couple of them had like crossbows that they did not get a chance to bring to bear. Um, and do they have any crossbow bolts? Yes, they do. Each one has a case of eight. I'm going to take one of those crossbows and the crossbow bolts and take it with me. Okay. Uh, one case of crossbow bolts or multiple cases or what? Many as I can get. Okay. Um, the two drifting in the water uh, who have kind of bumped up against the thing and bubbles are not coming up from where they were face down anymore. Um, <clears throat> they are... Uh, you'd have to wade out into the uh, into the sewer to get them, but uh, there are still four orcs, so that's five times four, so 20 uh, quarrels for your crossbow. Uh, now, as far as treasure goes, that's on them. Sometimes a module will not give treasure. And in those cases, I, as a dungeon master, have an option to go strictly by the module or not. Um, but we're going to go by the monster manual. So nice job picking up the crossbow. I carry one myself. <clears throat> Next, you need a hand axe. Let it go. It's good for throwing into the skull. That's why I carry two daggers. Ah, well, you got that too. <laughs> All right, so you collect a total of 43. Uh, is it silver or electrum? Let me see there. We're, type L. Uh, 43 electrum. You scrape together from from these feet. You want me to drop those in chat or something, um, Dan? Yeah, sure. That works. I figure we'll split it up. Yeah, that way we can at least add it up. Yeah, typically I always look at that Yeah, at the very end. Me too. So scrape together 43 Electrum. You've got some dead orcs floating uh, and lying around. 
Uh, where to next, adventurers? The tunnel continues on to the south when you uh, when you cast sleep and went down there and uh, or rather when you you caught up with them and massacred them and so on. You could see further down the sewer tunnel um, and it goes, let's see, so you're 40 feet down. You can very clearly see that the path on the right that you guys are standing on um when the when the sewer tunnel ends it turns left that is to the east and it also goes to the southwest and okay, so it's basically a three-way passageway one going directly perpendicular the other one going perpendicular at a 45 degree angle uh, correct. And as you uh, as you look, the the uh, the pathway that you're on crosses over the the sewer on the uh, the southwest tunnel branch. So you won't you hopefully won't have to get your feet wet. Which way do they send Grimsby? Got to send him uh, on the path. Yeah. I mean, when in doubt, always go left, right? Grimsby obviously dropping his voice as, I say we send him to the tavern. Indeed. Uh, we send him to the bottom of the sewer. <laughs> Indeed. No? 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 Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, so Grimsby heads south and then turns southwest at your behest. Actually, that would be to his... Right, you want him to go to to the left, to the east, correct? I well, I typically choose right, but Thayan chooses east, and Thayan spoke up, so east is cool with me. Okay, all right, that's fine. I I always I always pick left. And that's just because I'm left handed. <laughs> I'm right handed, which is why I pick right. You can figure <laughs> out anything if you just follow the wall yep. that's on the hand that you're accustomed to. I yep. don't care what it is. Okay. Yep. Uh, Grimsby crosses over um, and begins to move along the the eastern path. 10 feet, 20 feet. That would be the sinister path, wouldn't it? The sinister path, yes. The left-hand path. Um... When he when he gets to about twenty feet, as you're watching him, because you have that coin, it is lighting up out to where Grimsby is standing. the 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 cement or concrete, whatever it is of the the uh, the path, tips and dumps him into the water. He cries out, and he disappears below the surface. You can see his little halfling hands as he's thrashing around, but he goes bloop under. Hell, he cried again. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do. I mean, we could tie a rope around the halfling and go bobbing for apples. Yeah, but he's down now, right? He's yeah, like he's, underwater. He's now <laughs> how down. How do you Resurfaced. How deep? Is it? Yeah, how deep know? is the water? Here? Uh, it's deep enough that it's dark over there. They're right, dark and full of scum. We just dumped them into the septic tank. Well, I have... and he's at the bottom. I'll sink like a rock. Yeah, same. Um, I'm gonna try and lower my spear to him. Is that see if that reaches him? Okay. Um, I'll hold on to the pointy end. Okay, that's that's awfully nice of you. Um, <laughs> At least never said it. Never let it be said he didn't do the least he could do. When you watch this, Mark, we're we're laughing with you, not at you. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Okay. I'm doing both. Uh, you're fishing <laughs> around with the pole, and you feel like something grabs the pole and is holding Good. on to it. When you start to heave back. Um, it's a ghoul, isn't it? 
It, no, it's, it's a hogging. It's it's not it's not a ghoul. It's not a monster. It's just it's it's like there is something pulling hard on this. Like it is beyond just your strength to pull up. Damn, I have a strength of seventeen. Uh, Vrug, help! All right, I'll, I'll run over and help. All right, um, I'll grab in front of him. Heave ho, away we go. Okay. I've got a sixteen. We can do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can you can get over there and help if you want to as well. Let's pull um, him out. Okay. Oh, I opened doors in one through three. Coughing and spluttering. Uh, you guys are able to pull. Um, you guys are able to pull uh, Grimsby up out of the water. Um, he is reflexively holding on to the end of your spear and is not letting go. His eyes are shut. Um, he opens his mouth, you think, to speak, but this gout of foulness comes out, and he yep. drops. He drops to the floor, shuddering. He has clearly uh, been worsted by this experience. But he is conscious and barely able to move, but he is able to move. Uh, I'll there, him off. there is a gap of about uh, maybe six feet that this stone dumped in. You can take an exceptionally uh, easy jump to get over wherever this was. He says, there's... There's some kind of drain down there. It was pulling me in. I, I, if I had felt your spear buck me in the head, I, I don't think I'd have... I, I didn't, you know. If you weren't weighted down with all that gold you took, it wouldn't be a problem. I for every coin of it. <laughs> so he's... Yeah. Um, so is it right to say that we can jump across? There's a six feet gap yes yes um yeah it's right to say that we could just pretty much spread our legs and just step across uh, yeah yes. yeah how about we leave duran with the uh with the ill half i mean we don't have to leave anybody with him <laughs> but i want to keep going well we can pull him along with us he'll be all right you can walk well, around. you want to i mean i can throw him across if to you <laughs> Or we can just drag him along, and then he can drop in the water on a rope. Yep. And then we just pull him up. He's a halfling. He'll be fine. Um, No, uh, we can just throw him across. It'll be fine. Grimsby just kind of glares at both of you and pulls out his <laughs> rope of climbing and feeds it along the wall where it ties itself off on an outjutting brick. Well, see, why didn't, why didn't he do that when he got in the muck? Hmm? That's, hmm? that's what you should have done, and we was just playing with you anyways. We knew you had that. That sorry, it smells better now. The indignities I suffer. Okay. Um, so past the trap. Um the hallway the or the sewer tunnel continues another twenty feet and then turns southeast. Grimsby. All right, so so Grimsby's in no shape to scout anymore. Uh, I mean, he's capable of moving and everything. He's he's uh, still coughing and spluttering, but uh, he he will go forward if you ask him to. Okay, well, yeah, uh, no harm, no foul, then, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that'll uh, come later with his I, uh, yeah. whatever disease. Grimsby has taken damage. Um. So he moves forward, uh, tiptoes around the corner. Actually, you know what? We should see if anything, with all that splashing and cursing and yelling and halfling. Fool of a took. <laughs> Indeed. Throw yourself in next time. I did, you morons. Uh, but nothing comes. Uh, Spare us the trouble. And yet he does not rid, it, rid us of his stupidity. He doesn't. Um, rid <laughs> all right. Uh, so he that. reports back uh, that the tunnel uh, looks like it goes 50 feet and then bears off due east. Okay. You gotta but keep following it. Till. Yeah, let's keep following. Right. Um, you do realize that those of you who have taken damage might have to roll for diseases at this point because of where we are? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Have, Fear have, 
Ha have fun getting septicemia. <laughs> oh, yes. that Folks, let me tell you something. If you are... Oh, you, well, if you, hey, last time I walked <laughs> through the woods when I played with this guy and I had one hit point of damage and I got Gondasipa Herpalades. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> And never, never forget all the cases of ankle hippolytus I've given you all. Oh, uh, you slut! I'm dead already. As as you fall into a pit trap and land on your feet, and it smashes your ankles up into your hips. Um, but uh, yes, I will. I will be checking that. But as I was saying, if you've not played first edition AD and D before, and you haven't read the glorious book that is the first edition Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Dungeon Master's Guide, there is an entire chapter on fun diseases you can give your players. I recommend you check that out. Anyway, this particular adventure, um, you follow the uh, you follow the corridor down, Grimsby leading the way. Um, I'm assuming you guys are using the light coin for illumination. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So this next area, the tunnel turns off due east. Uh, it narrows down to a mirror 10 feet wide, but the brickwork gives way to natural, uh, a, a natural cave dug out of the earth. I really should have put a uh, black blood of the earth or you will come out no more joke in here, but I wasn't thinking on my, my girlfriend and I okay. watched that the other day. That is a fantastic movie. That, that is a D and D adventure. It is. Um, so this, this room, it's about 30 feet across, maybe two thirds of that wide. Um, it is completely covered with drying garbage and other foul materials. Um, if you want to enter the room, there's a little flight of stairs that goes down. You're going to have to wade through the muck. The air is steamy and condensation appears on the walls and they're already covered by pale, moist slime growths. The heat of rotting garbage rises from the floor, rendering your infravision useless. There are four exits from the chamber, one at each compass point. The exit to the east is brick and stone. Well, that's, that's, uh, it is a brick and stone passage. The other are dirt tunnels. The odor of rot filling the air is nauseating in its intensity. Okay, so this is a, this is basically like some place that's full of you know uh, excrement, awful, all those kinds of things that has rotted over time, and it's yeah. a junction in the sewer, right? Where we're at like a four way intersection. Um, a couple of dirt tunnels and then a brick tunnel that was worked and we got here through a rough hewn tunnel and there's a little bit of stairs going down into the muck and we don't know or into the trash and we don't know how deep that is uh that is, is that that is a correct assessment that is a correct assessment And I will say that across the room, because you do have a source of illumination, you can see that the stairs rise up out, of, or that there are stairs that rise up out of the muck uh, and go to the tunnel to the uh, to, that continues on to the east. <coughs> that would be the one that was worked. Uh, yes. Got to see what's up there. Right, you'd have to jump across. Uh, we'd have to take what the middle of the room. So this is a twenty-foot room. Uh, we'd have to use Pythagorean theorem to find out how far you'd have to jump to get to the other staircase. Well, it's about. I, I misspoke. It's it's about forty feet across and about thirty feet wide. And you've got opening. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm thinking. What about um, that rope of climbing? You think that'll do it, Tim? Or that Grimsby's got? I think it'll do it. We can try. <laughs> What's the harm in trying? Okay, so... Yeah, if it can stick to the ceiling or something, we swing across, you know. Tie a weight to it, and we send it back and forth. Tie a halfling to it and send it back and forth. 
That's right. Okay, um, so the rope is 60 feet long. It'll definitely go across the room. Um, it can uh, uh, it can attach itself to anything. And Grimsby's looking about the room. And he looks up at the ceiling and says, I think that 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 pipe or beam or whatever that that is, it it, it might uh, it might wrap around there. We'd have to swing across. All right. Well, what do we do? I mean, it seems to me we don't know how much weight it will hold. So what? We send the lightest first. No, I think we send Rug first just to see what happens. <laughs> I've lived in worse than this shite. Are you sure about but that? But I don't want to be in it again. <laughs> man, I don't even know my mom's and my pops, man. All right. I'll go first. Okay. Um, what is Tartha Nose Rage's strength, please? 16. 16. Let's see. I can remember if you were 16 or 17, but a 16. And you're going to swing across on the rope. Let's see. Tarth isn't uh, Tarth isn't completely laden down, so you can hang on to it. Um, let's have a gander here. Uh, give me a d20 roll, Tim. This one might be important. It is. Um, can I make one proviso before we do this, please? <laughs> I have, um, one sec. Uh, you want to take back his 20? No, no, uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I wasn't going to take back his 20. I was just going to offer to tie a rope around him. But then I also remembered, wait a second, this character doesn't have a rope. So, never okay. mind. Uh, <laughs> you swing across. You maintain your grip on the rope and you land on the slimy stairs without falling back into the muck. Um, it That's smells awesome. just as horrible over here as it did over there. So you have successfully Tarzan your way across. Um, Grimsby calls out and the rope kind of re coils up to the ceiling and then snakes back down to Grimsby's hand. Wait, he didn't we all want to swing across? Well, Tarth went first. I it's think. one person at a time. <laughs> you know, OSHA, it's an OSHA violation to put more than one person on a Tarzan rope. <laughs> so, uh, yes, um, Tarth, you are across. Um, the light source is illuminating down. This tunnel in front of you is about six feet wide and goes, it looks like maybe 30 more feet into the darkness and you're after that you're not sure who's going next please you're right over there i'm fine there's a corridor we don't see what's down it but let's uh at least someplace can't smell any man i don't know i trust this thing how deep is this crap you want to find out yeah, somebody stick their staff down in there. Come on, yeah. man. This ain't no time for jokes. Good. Then don't land in it. Get across. All right. Who's, who's Great. Going stick your staff down in there. I'll yes. swing while he's busy being a big baby. I'll swing. Uh, give me a give me a, a d20. This is basically a saving throw. So uh, this guy weighs like forty pounds. Yeah, but my stuff doesn't. Why That's are true. all the nat twenties being wasted? Okay. Uh, that ain't wasted. <laughs> you are you are across in Grimsby. Okay, who's going next? Hey, you think you can see how deep this stuff is in case I fall in? We'll know how deep it is when you fall in. Man, stick your spear down there. <laughs> Only if you lick it clean. <laughs> I'll lick it clean with your face. Come on, you big baby. Let's go. 
I fall in that pit, Elf, we're yeah. going to have some problems. If you fall in, I'll make sure I'll push you back in. Good luck. I'll, I'll, I'll swing across. All right. Come on, well, man. You can do it. All right. I got an 1875 strength. Okay. You, you get some bonuses for strength. Um... So let's see that uh, we'll call that a total of 15. Let's look at the dungeon master's guide. You're a fighter four, correct? That would be correct. That would be correct. All right. That and is nobody correct. wants to roll after two twenties. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you had rolled first, you wouldn't have rolled after two twenties. You would have rolled before them. But no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yes, we are doing this, by the way, I recommend that DMs do this for inconsequential saving throws, tell a character to make a saving throw on the, 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 uh, make a saving throw versus death. Uh, it, it amps up the, the tension a little bit, but yeah, you swing across split. Okay. Um, so John calls back across and he says, do you, do you want the rest of the lads and I to join you or shall we stay here while, whilst you scout ahead? I think for the time okay, being, so they should stay. All right. So Sorry, that so wasn't. It, it, I apologize. So Splut wasn't me falling into the mashed potatoes. No, no, it, it was, was me landing on the stone. Yes. Okay. Stay back. I mean, it's up to you, Thane. But no, no, I, I, I wasn't speaking for the group. I was, I was voicing my opinion. Yeah, I think they. Sh What'd you say? I can't even remember. No, you're good. I I said the same thing you did. I said I think they should stay, and we and the three of us go. And we got this. We'll take it like a true raiding party. All right. If that's the case, I'm swinging back across the rope. <laughs> oh, I, think we I just paint move. your face with some black. Okay. So I <laughs> say, hey, 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 hey. You get me. <laughs> Off YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> man. I, I don't know who thinks of stuff like that, but it wasn't me. I was talking about Conan the Barbarian. I don't know what you guys are going on about. That's very clever. That's very polite. It's a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, thirty feet ahead of you, uh, this tunnel about six feet wide ends. However, you see a smaller tunnel to the north at the very end. And at um, the very end of that tunnel, we see light. Uh, no, you do not see light. You you see that it turns to the north. Well, that's good. By smaller, you mean five feet wide, like the other ones, or yeah, you're you're in like six, seven foot wide tunnel, but that one looks like it's maybe four or five feet wide. We should move another thirty feet up and see what we see. Yep. All right. That works. Uh, that, think... that, that takes you to the end of the uh, the tunnel, and you've got the passage on your left to the north. Two of us have dark vision. Why do you have That's... to be a human? <laughs> uh, yes. What are you guys using for illumination? So Tarth knows rage isn't Tarth blind man. We have that 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 light source, the the stone, right? All right. Um. Yeah, ho holding it in your fist, you know, you can open it a little bit, but it, it's like, it's glowing red. It's almost uh, uh, like like some supernatural power is in your hand, which it is. Okay, so to the north, after the 30-foot tunnel, you see the uh, narrow passage. It looks like it curves slightly to the northwest, but then back around to the east. Are you following it? So Tarth's in front, right? Because uh, does the elf want to be in front? No. I mean, th this thing's pretty narrow. <laughs> right, so Tarth yeah, will be in front. You'll be behind him. I'll bring up the rear. I mean, if you if, if you want if you want me to be in front, sure. But I, 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 out of the three of us, I have the best armor class, but I also have a spear. So I'd rather... Uh, right. Yeah, I'll bring up the rear if Tarth's cool going up front, which it sounds like he is because he's kind of leading right now anyways. All right. So you're in the middle, Than, and I'll and and I'll yep. be it in the back. All right. Yep. And worst comes to worst, I'll suck it in and let you charge ahead. And I should point right out on. the the air here is foul, but it's not as foul as it was back in that in that disgusting pit. Um, the ground here is hard packed soil, as are the walls and the ceiling above you. Um, and the ceiling overhead is about 
nine feet. Um, so you follow the tunnel around. It curves around maybe 20 feet and ends in a T-junction. Uh, one branch of it going south and the other going to the north. Interesting. Which way? Go get the rest of our party. Um, yeah. so can we tell? Can we tell if one smells better than the other? Ah, uh, no. It's it's all pretty horrible down here. Um. Do we? That's actually a good shout. Do we want to go back and get the party? Are both of these turn. worked? the same way i mean this is uh this is all built up stuff you know maintenance tunnels and that sort of thing or you know uh water flow conduits whatever these are uh, all brick right no these just appear to be dirt tunnels uh, okay and they've been shored up or whatever just people have dug through. yeah yeah are there, yeah okay like so there are supports me, uh if you here let me uh this is this is actually a great place to use an absolutely lovely drawing by by um, Jeff D here. It is the cover. And if you guys haven't seen this cover before, I think I posted that in in your Discord, right? Um, I saw a picture by Jeff D in there. I was wondering. What, yeah, it was that yep, one. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. The tunnel is not unfortunately not that wide, but the construction type is like that. So it's not okay. just like a straight tunnel through the dirt. You know, it's it's, it's, hex it's hexagonal. Okay. Right. We should, if we're going to make a turn, I think we need to get the rest of our party because otherwise they're not going to know which direction we went. And, uh, what if they fall in? That Grimsby ain't looking too good. And John, if, man, I didn't feel like pushing our luck. I felt like we needed somebody to watch after him. But I don't care, really. I mean, well, maybe, well, maybe we can just drag them across. Maybe just like we just yank them, right? They just kind of skip on the surface like skipping rocks. I think if we tried to skip the halfling, he might um, skip town with all of our money. <laughs> go, we don't goes, want that. Goes back to the hideout. They all died, lads. Follow me. They said, follow Grimsby. And <laughs> Yep. Uh, whilst he has two peg legs. <laughs> all right. Uh, so... Yeah, you, you spend a couple of turns exploring, but nothing comes looking for you. What are you guys doing next? Okay. So, well, as far as if... The, I don't think they're going to come following us, so I don't think them following us is much of an issue. Um, But, yeah, let's press on. Worst comes to worst, we'll backtrack. But for now, let's press on. Are you going right or are you going left at this T-junction? Well, we went left before. Let's go left again. Okay. Since I'm apparently the the one steering the ship today. Alrighty. It's easier to remember that way anyway. Okay, so the tunnel to the left, as much as we saw it illustrated there, you go 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet. You think it's kind of widening out a little bit. You feel a little bit more comfortable. 40 feet. Definitely feels like it's widening out 50 feet, 60 feet. And let's go ahead and third base. <laughs> you do not encounter anything as you move along, but this tunnel has curved back towards the west and has broadened out. On your right, there are two very narrow tunnels. They're narrow but tall. They maintain that seven foot tallness on your left is an extremely narrow and low to the ground tunnel. And the large tunnel that you're in continues to curve to the West. Boys, this looks like a bees hive. I'm not liking this. Some Colin is stuck to the wall. Kill me. <laughs> well, we got that small one, and we ain't got the halfling to shove through there. Well, we got two more, and we can keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Let me stick one of my head. <laughs> Let me stick. <laughs> Let me stick my head through one of them holes. <laughs> 
your funeral. Okay. Man, even Bill made it sound like that was a bad <laughs> idea. Uh, yeah, I, all I know is I, I, I said something disastrous by complete yeah, accident. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't much better. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But mm -hmm. hey, hey, my boys sense Tuesday nights and Friday nights and decide to try to make me miserable. That's okay. All right. Um... So, ah, okay, that's where that is. Dave Cook sprinkling letters around. Um, okay. All right. Uh, so you have tunnels on the left and the right. And I apologize. The, the tunnels on the left and the right uh, are not tall. They, they are actually fairly small. They're, they're they're pretty short. They're just a couple of feet tall. Uh, are you sticking your head in a tunnel on the right hand side or on the left hand side, please? On the right hand side, please. Uh, right side, okay. Not not like all the way into the shoulders or whatever, but enough to try to get a good look. All right. Um, you are not surprised to see uh, five giant ants kind of doing giant ant stuff in that tunnel. Uh, the one nearest kind of waves its antenna at you and starts to scuttle forward. Uh, what are you doing? How far away is he, the one nearest me? Um, you're not surprised, so you were able to see him fairly easily there with your your uh, half uh infravision. So he is... Uh, He's about 10 feet away. And you can see where he's coming from actually widens out into a space that if you could wedge yourself into that tunnel, you might be able to almost stand up and you're not sure. But anyway, uh, ants scuttling towards you. Ants. 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 All right, we got company boys, everybody in the middle. I don't um, think we can run fast enough. What's the size? Well, when you say there are ants, are these... Cat sized, ant sized, horse sized, man sized. The size of the hole, my man. Ants. They are they are they are giant ants. Mister, how right. much for giant ant? Um. Yeah. My like plan is to back toward the center of the room, and you know, hopefully, we can make at least a three man circle or whatever. Um. Okay. Can we back to to a choke point, and I can sleep some of them. They're going to be fast. All right. All right. Okay. So you guys are... Um, I don't want to be surrounded, but yeah. Pulling back. Um, let me see. As best we can, yeah. Okay. Man, my players got their hands on the stun pistol and Expedition of the Barrier Peaks. And uh -huh. I really wish I had that pistol right now. <laughs> you just point it down the hallway with that 60-foot cone and bam! Yeah, who knows how many of these things we got. N nice part about that pistol is it didn't care about hit dice. It just cared if you were an organic. Right. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So let's go ahead and roll initiative, and uh, we'll just start off with you, Dooms. All right, it's a tie. You're pulling back as uh, the workers are kind of boiling out. You know how it is when, when you kick a, an ant, like you just scuff it off the sidewalk, and the ants just kind of scramble around madly? That's what these are doing, but there's a larger, redder, browner one that that has come out uh it is by itself and it you know it's kind of clashing its mandibles as it's scuttling forward and you guys are, are moving back. So basically it was you guys moving back it moving forward we're now in a new round let's to get declarations Vrug, it uh it, it it wants a piece of Vrug. so we're what is uh what is Vrug going to do so at this point that's the only one within my encounter uh, that's the only one i'm in melee with correct Correct. The the uh the, the smaller 
darker ones are not uh, are not attacking. Just the larger, redder one seems to be. I, I attack it viciously as if my life were depend on it. And it may. Uh, okay, how about Tarth Nose Rage, Tim? I'm going to stab that sucker for all it's worth. Tarth Nose Rage. And can I just point something out to my everyone, my players, the audience? I hate ants. Don't talk to me about useful. Don't talk to me about, about you social societies and the beauty of blah, blah, blah. I hate ants. <laughs> when, I, when I found out that at the University of Florida, they make these beautiful el- sculptures as studies of ant layers by pouring molten aluminum into them, my reaction was good. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll never I forget when I was a kid, I grabbed a hold of a, a metal pipe embedded in the ground and apparently it was, it was embedded in an ant hill. Yeah, I will never forget the feeling of them on my skin. Cleaning up a yard, pick up a stick. Oh, look, ants! I t- t- can't stand them. Uh, so, Sir Standard, you're going to instabulate also? N- no, I'm casting sleep. Oh, you're casting. I have sleep. one sleep. I have one sleep spell left. Well, there there are a lot of these workers, the small black ones, right? Uh, there are five of them. Yeah, I'll cast sleep if I can get the warrior uh, too. Great, but roll. okay, so five of them have already come out. Uh, yeah, but like I said, they're they're kind of crawling around the wall, and they're they're not okay. right on. So let's roll initiative, and uh, it is uh, Tim's turn. Go on, Tim. The ants go marching one by one. Huzzah! Huzzah! The ants go marching one by one. Huzzah! Huzzah! You mark, you mark, you mark the dice after. give it, the dice take it away. <laughs> They'll go kill Brug. They'll drag him off into a dirty groove. The end school marching. All right. Uh, let's see. So. He will try and kerchomp you. And how many? I thought we won. Uh, no. no or, I or, did, or, or, or you rolled the three. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we lost. AC negative one, sir. I saw that 20 spin up and I was like, doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's mandibles clamp shut as you pull back. Uh, sleep is a one segment spell. So um, let's see the workers. Oh, yep. now I got to, I got to look at sleep, sleep and heavenly peace. It, it is. It is. Um, I can give you the numbers if you want. Uh, give me the numbers me. for three uh, dice. Two to three. Two to three is D4. Roll a D4. Okie dokie. Will do. That's respectable. Three. Okay. So, um, and you are trying to get the, uh, the, the big ant also, correct? If I can, sure. It's not, you know. It takes the sleep spell the other ants are not affected. Basically, it soaked all of the sleep juice. I'll take it. It's no longer directing orders. Stops and falls over on its side. Kind of twitching. We Um, fight our way towards that one. We kill that one. Okay, but again, to point out, the black worker ants are not doing anything but milling around. They are not currently attacking uh, make your attacks on a sleep creature. It automatically hits at double damage. All of you hit, uh, or rather, Arth, you and uh, and Rug hit for max double, and you just chop it into pieces. And the others kind There's of there's more where that came from. Scuttle around for a minute, and they're heading back in the tunnel. Yeah, except for they're going to report back now that something went and killed one of their workers. We need to beat feet. We need to go down the other branch of that tunnel back. And the, uh, if the other branch, yep. yeah, if the other branch looks like this branch, we're beaten feet. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go back down the other way. Okay, so heading down the other way. Let's see, heading down the other way, you back down into the narrow tunnels. Um, Let's see. You come to a ladder that extends from a circular stone shaft to the dirt floor. It's wood and it's in good condition. Uh, It doesn't appear to be fixed to the wall. 
Um, there are many tracks in the mud about the ladder. It just goes straight up. All right, so there's a ladder just going straight up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's first? Um, you want to or you want me to? I'll do it. All right. Because you got a sword and stuff. I only got a spear. So using a spear with a manhole is kind of... All right, yeah, I'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of like sling my shield over my left shoulder and use my left arm to climb up, you know, along my right arm, my sword arm, and, and make my way up there. I'll come right behind you. Okay. Um, Vrug, you get to a uh, metal and wood hatch that's set flush against the floor. Um, there is a shelf. They're, they're basically just kind of a, 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 a hollow niche right there. Um, there are three bags um, shoved away in that, um, in that niche. Okay, and there's a there's a hatch in the ceiling, or no? It's just like a no. There is there is a hatch in the ceiling, and there are there are three bags shoved in that niche. Uh, behind the hatch, or the niche the the niche is under the hatch. Door above you, niche just to the left of the uh, right, uh, right. You're at. Yeah, gotcha. Um, I'm gonna hang on with my left hand on the ladder and and poke those bags with my sword. My right um, hand, which I guess would be crossing my body or whatever. Yes, uh, you hear a sound that sounds suspiciously metallic and crunchy. Right, but nothing happens. I mean, they move no. a little bit, and it like it, like the ladder doesn't it, like collapse into the no. yeah. No. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that alone. We got some coins or something up here, boys. I'm gonna try to. Give me some space. I'm gonna drop down a rung or two and try to blast this door open. Sure. I mean, there's not a pull ring on it, right? It doesn't open toward me. Uh no, it does not. It looks like it opens out above you. All right. Yeah, I'll climb up the ladder a little bit. Uh, hold both hands. Uh, sheath my sword, I suppose. Hold both hands and try to put my back up through the thing. Okay. Um, Vrug, give me an open doors roll, please. That makes it. All right, Vrug, however you do it, you force it open. You hear a sound of squeaking metal, and you see something that looks not quite uh, any, like anything other than a giant sword being held by two giant arms swinging straight towards you. Um. All right, um, like a uh, like trap type of thing, like a trap type of thing. Yeah, right? some sort of scything trap. Yes, and you are scythed for twenty three points. Oof. Yeah, that hurts. Um, there is a great tumult of voices, people in this room shouting and yelling. Uh, you hear a female uh, voice in Orcish cry out. An infidel is here! An old one-eye has struck him! Kill the intruders! And that's where we're going to leave it for this week. Well, I like struck by some kind of siding trap. Um, the party has narrowly escaped the giant ants, but this may be out of the stinking pan into the fire. I'd like to thank all my players for being here tonight, those who could make it. Of course, uh, we hope that... Uh, we hope that Mobius is feeling better and that uh, Mark gets uh, things sorted and that that Kevin is able uh, to to uh, work his things out tomorrow. I for when I saw that 23 come up, I was like, well, damn, I just killed Doomsword's character. Oh, well, <laughs> but, uh, but not pretty, uh, pretty damn close, man. What was the damage? 23, uh, tw 23. Oh, and I had 14 already um, in in wounds, which uh Aren't you glad? Which leaves me. 
three hit points. If I hadn't rolled nine on my last level advancement, and if I hadn't leveled up, I'd be dead, yeah. Aren't you glad you went up and not me? Because if I went up, I'd be dead. <laughs> I would have been dead as well. And I'm glad I got that hit point roll after having lost my best hit roll as a fighter in okay. at least 20 uh, years yes, due to uh, Bill's level drain. Tarth yep. is right underneath him, and, and Tarth, <laughs> you're suddenly suddenly bathed in Brug's blood as he is struck by that swinging sword trap. So we'll find out uh, exactly what's in that room next week if the party wishes to to press the attack. But until then, thank you very much to Doom Sword, uh, to Tim M. Holt, and to Thane Kyle for being here tonight. Thank you, everyone else uh, in the audience for hanging out with us tonight. A uh, big shout out. Thank you to Vinger for the super. I do appreciate it. He asked, did anyone bring a canary? No, they did not. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. Kyle's going to drive tomorrow, which is nice. Um, and I'm just going to hang out while hopefully we're able to run some D&D &D or at least roll up some characters. But remember, guys, it's not necessarily the siding traps that you have to watch out for. No, indeed, it's the owl bears. Peace. Good night. I love you all. Have you seen my owl bear? Here's to all the weirdos everywhere in the woods and in the air. Have you seen my owl bear? Should I shave off all my hair? Bobs are all around. Some live in tunnels underground. Some are fat, some are rich, some are sleeping in a ditch. Can you ride a crooked horse without a saddle way off course? Naked as a toad, all the way to Smoky Joe's. Have you seen the little creep driving fast in his little green jeep? He smells like fish and brandy. But his rotten teeth look dandy. Take me to the show. I don't care if fast or slow. From action flicks to dancing dicks, just take me to the show.